loving it. Vancouver. <laughs> we actually said we're going to leave Los Angeles and come and work here instead. No, it's just been beautiful. It's such a beautiful place. And the architecture, the sea, the, just everything. And we went to the suspension bridge yesterday. <laughs> yes, we got off the, the licks. Yeah, we got off the plane and got through our fear of heights very quickly. <laughs> we yeah. had a great time. Such a beautiful place. We're adventure seekers. We love the outdoors, so this stuff is perfect. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> That's a good question because like everything I do. <laughs> I think, um, I don't know if there's any one in particular. I always, I always sort of answer that. It's like the last, the last role that I've done. But I think, I think it's all the roles that I've done. Some are harder than others. I, I never know what to expect. I never know how long I'm going to be there in the series. Um, I think that the fact that we get to wake up, and I can speak for you on this too. Um, that the fact that we get to wake up and do voices and get paid for it is like the biggest gift anyone could have ever given me personally and, and probably you yeah. in the world, you know? I think one of the reasons I became an actor is because I wanted to do everything. I mean, I wanted to be a doctor, I wanted to be a fireman, I wanted to be a superhero, and I wanted to be... Jesus at one point. I wanted to be everything. <laughs> so this gave me the opportunity to be all those things. And, you know, going back to the, the answer on the other question is that it, it's an honor to be able to do this. And when you find out that it actually has an impact on people's lives is, is pretty incredible. Uh, you know, people sometimes take entertainment for granted and think that entertainment may not be important. But when you're living in a war, or you're living in times that it's economically hard, or you know, people are going through illnesses or whatever. We met a guy today who was going through a really hard time, and the work that we do, not necessarily us, but just you know, as collectively as voiceover artists, creating you know, our collaboration towards video games and animation, knowing that it made a difference or helped somebody through a hard time or just made him laugh or it was just a nice escape for the night to go off to a movie and watch something that made him laugh and just kind of zone off and do nothing um, is is very important and we take that very seriously and we're, we're glad that we have an impact. With our work. Somebody asked us today if we had any kind of lucky charm or anything that we carry with us. And I... <laughs> Each other? Yeah, exactly. Each other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, not so much a ritual uh, that we do. I think there's more of uh, an actor's preparation, which is just allowing ourselves to kind of go into that character. So I think we both pride ourselves on the fact that we're not um, presenters of material. We are. The character. Yeah, we're recreators of reality, I guess. Rather than giving a presentation or a performance, we're actually organically becoming that character. And so it's, it's not so much of a, a ritual going into it, but there is uh, allowing ourselves to just enter into that character and play around inside our vocal booth or inside of our session for now. Yeah, I would call it a spiritual shift, mm -hmm. a spiritual shift. It's, it's like we lock into what we're doing and it's, it's almost becoming a different person, like, uh, like pushing everything else aside and taking on exactly what we're doing at that time and, and just getting into it. And I remember, just on an aside, I, I remember the first time I ever felt like I finally figured out what it is to kind of get behind the character that I was doing. And I was in a class or something like that and they asked me to do the voice of my dog. And my dog was this big floppy-eared Weimaraner. And um, I remember just feeling his face around me, like getting behind that face. And I felt like, aha, I got it. This is exactly what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be me getting behind or in the skin of and, and, taking, on, and taking on that role. So it's, it's a real feeling more than it is, you know, holding a lucky rabbit's foot or a pencil or something like that. I do, however, love to bring Grant on auditions with me. <laughs> Safety. Yeah, yeah I, I think that, uh, yeah, I'm, I can't even think what I was thinking of, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, I'm Hi. Suk. And I'm Mook. And we're Suk. And Mook. And we're brothers. Sorry, <laughs> this is brothers. No, this is Whatever. Hey, anyway, <laughs> come on down. Come on down. Yeah, Every revolution. revolution. 2015. Yeah. See you.
Yeah. We're having a great time. <laughs>